Radio Revolución transmitiendo para América en estos momentos. Le estamos transmitiendo a todos ustedes que no hablan español. America and the virus. And what does that mean in terms of China? This is everything has to do with China, nothing to do with the virus. This is a bioterror war to contain China. Remember after 1945, the containment policy, the iron wall to stop what they call it before, back then, the, the, uh, the evil empire, which was to destroy the Soviet Union. That was basically the U.S. policy back then with the United Kingdom or England. Today, that containment policy is not against the Soviet Union because the powers that be, the military industrial complex, Big Pharma, they understand that their policy worked in terms of having finished the Soviet Union. 1989, 1990, they destroyed the Soviet Union. Now we don't have the Soviet Union. Now you have Russia. And throughout the 90s, all the way into uh, after uh, Vladimir Putin elections, the Soviet Union, Russia, lost almost 20 million people as a result of the losing of the famously known as a Cold War, which was basically a deadly attack against the Soviet Union. So from 1945, it took the powers that be, the world elite, led by the U.S., it took them from 1945 all the way to 1989, To finally destroy the Soviet Union. The end of history. Some of them. Some of the. Uh, ideologues. Uh, uh, who were working for the empire. Call it. Fact of the matter is that. Uh, they destroy it. They disintegrate it. And they say now. We rule the world. 1989. 1990. So now we're in 2020. And you have China. So now the question is, what we're going to do with China? Well, what they are going to do with China in their minds is what they did with the Soviet Union. But, of course, you cannot send thousands of soldiers to China. Nor you can bomb them uh, with uh, missile, missiles and bombs or, or anything. You, can, you can't do that. The moment you do that, imagine China can easily bring 10 million soldiers inside, US, inside the U.S. territory. Needless to say, uh, China has now capability to bomb half of the United States in half an hour. So, don't get lost. Don't get terrorized. Don't get confused by their narrative. Because what it is right now is the equivalent of the containment policy of the 1940s. With the 21st arms or technology. Cyber warfare. Viruses. Pandemics, epidemics, that's what is happening right now. So don't go anywhere, but pay attention to what Radio Revolution is bringing to you. This is a series. This is the first of many in which now we have all the documents 
classify or unclassify that we're going to share with you so that you understand what is it behind this whole policy of the bioterror warfare, which they call it, uh, you know, the CV. We're not going to mention the name because you know what's going on when you mention full names. So this is uh, a war against the advancement of China. This is to contain China. This is to stop China. And we are not going to go and bomb the hell out of China, but we can certainly bring some, what they call a virus. And at the same time, we can uh, terrorize the whole world. We can paralyze the economy. And we can actually uh, make sure that uh, the huge, biggest corporations get the hell out of China. That's why right now uh, the U.S. had already uh, embraced uh, Vietnam and Malaysia and Thailand and India. Because guess what? They will be the new labor force that China was to Apple and to the car industry and to the manufacturing industry, to all the industries. So we take everything away from the Chinese so that we stop their economic power because this is what it's all about. And you see, it is working. It is working almost perfectly. Many corporations already left China. Many investments already left China. Is even uh, talk going on right now that uh, what the U.S. owes to China, which is in the trillions, it will not be paid. That's why the U.S. is already even passing bills, legislation, in Congress and in the Senate to condemn China and to punish China and to apply the law against China, saying that China is the one who brought the viruses to the world. You see how things are working perfectly. So stay tuned, because uh, this is just the first of uh, many, many other other ones that are coming up. And you see already, we got right now, right now, in just this few minutes, we reached 2 million viewers. So, keep tuned. We're going to come back. 